Would you please tell us your name? Rick Cow. Okay. And what have you brought to the harvest today? Well, I brought first a uh, top hat that was used in the Susquehanna Centennial in 1967, which that event took place in June 18th or June 24th in 1967. Oh, wow. This was a fundraiser, I assume, for the event. And um, men purchased these. They had both top hats and like a derby type hat that were available uh, for purchase. And I'm sure it was a fundraising event for uh, money for the actual Susquehanna. How did you acquire it? It's actually, <clears throat> it's either my grandfather's or uh, my father's, and it was passed down to me. So has your family always lived in the area? We have. Awesome. What else have you brought? The second item is also Susquehanna. It is a stock certificate for the Susquehanna. And it is, uh, I'm sure, again, another fundraising event, but it was issued to the CALP Agency, which is uh, the corporation insurance and real estate that my brother and I now own. And so we still have the certificate from 1967, and it was issued. We purchased uh, 10 shares of the, the whatever it was. And I don't I have no idea how much it cost back then or what, what it paid for, other than to say it was a part of the Susquehanna Centennial event again for financing and, and fundraising. Mm -hmm. The third one is a picture of my great grandfather, Harvey E. Kaup, who was a motorman on the trolley car that ran from Lewisburg to Watson Town. And so this is a picture in front of the, the trolley, and it says uh, Salvation Army First Annual Outing. So um, that's about all the history I have of that. Do you know when this was taken? I do not know. Do you have a guess or? I'm going to guess. I really can't, I can't remember exactly when the trolley ran. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to guess that this goes back to the beginning of the early 1900s. Oh, wow. So, so cool. <laughs> what is the Susquehanna? Can you tell me about that? Well, the, <laughs> that was 150 years of uh, the celebration of Milton. We are now in the bicentennial, which is 200 years. So this was 50 years ago, the event that took place um, from June 18th to June 24th, and a whole week event of, of events going on in, in Milton. Do you know like what events there were? Oh my gosh, in, I, I don't have, let's see, 67, I was 11 years old. So I do remember there was a, um, Men had a, uh, a I, I think that was a fundraiser, but you, you would, they, they judged on uh, beards and, and mustaches. People would grow them, and you were a member of the Brothers of the Brush. <laughs> and um, you could, they were actually judged. There was um, skirts, ladies made like outfits from uh, uh, earlier and they were judged. There was a fashion show as I recall. Um, those are just some of the, there was a, obviously a big parade like we're going to do again this year. Um, a lot of interesting events back then too. Mm -hmm. So. And you said the bicentennial is happening this year? The, sus or the, the bicentennial is this year. That's what this is all a part of. So the, the bicentennial is now, the Susquehanna was 50 years ago. It seems like it was not that long ago. <laughs> I think we need top hats. What's that? I said I think there needs to be more top hats, you know, right? <laughs> I wish this one fit because it doesn't really fit. Oh no! <laughs> That's why I'm thinking it was my grandfather's because he had a smaller hat size than, mm -hmm. than my dad would have had. But uh, it was in the attic or in our storage area, and I thought, oh, I think I 
It's still in really good condition. It is. It, it was actually in a hat box. He had it in a hat box. So. Oh wow. I'm guessing these were made possibly down in Sunbury. There used to be, I cannot remember, the <coughs> Champ Hats was in Sunbury. And uh, they had, they may have done it back then uh, for the, the uh, Susquehanna Centennial. 